let's first define the domain over which we want answers to solve the governing equations. And as we saw, the, um, the domain is a rectangle of length equal to one meter and height equal to 0.5 meters. I'll go to my answer session and drag fluid flow fluent into the project page. This is the analysis system that gives me access to the solver that solves our governing equations. I can rename the project. I'll call it flat plate REL equal to 10,000. And then I will, since it's a 2D analysis, I need to right click on geometry and select properties. And I will expand this here and I will set analysis type to 2D. So you need to do this right at the start. And if you forget this and try to switch it halfway through, it won't work. And you know, you'll just be pulling out your hair and uh, you know, things won't work. So you have to do this right at the start. So get rid of that. And then I will right click on geometry and I'll say new space claim geometry. You need to twiddle your thumbs for a bit, maybe even a couple of minutes as a student was noting. And I'll get this automatic performance reporting. I'll say no to that. And space claim will come up. And let me see if I can maximize this. Um, this is pretty cool that it's running in um, in a web browser. And um, so I will go into uh, file, space claim options. By the way, you may get firewall warnings and you can just cancel out of all the firewall warnings that you get. So I'll say space claim options units. I will set the length to be meters. And then if I scroll down the minor grid spacing, I will make it 0.1 meters. And you'll see the effect of this. I'll say okay. And then I need to, for 2D, uh, I need to sketch on the XY plane. So let's select the sketch plane and then go to the upper right and click. And that will basically, it's like you're selecting the the back plane, which is the XY plane, and then say plan view. So you're looking at the plane and make sure you're looking at the XY plane. And let me zoom in a little bit here. Then I will pick the rectangle option here under the sketch toolbar. And let me zoom in using the middle mouse wheel. Um, and I can translate if I hold down the control button and then I, the middle uh, mouse button. So if I hold down control and middle mouse button, I can also translate. And then I will draw. So when you're drawing, make sure you get this over here, make sure you get the snapping to curve center. So that way the left lower corner of the rectangle is, um, coincident with the origin of the X uh, coordinate system. And then to dimension, I will hit the space bar and that will let me enter this dimension. I'll say one, and then I'll hit tab to enter the other dimension, which is 0.5. And then I'll hit enter and then escape, escape to get out of the sketch and then go to 3D mode. And when I do that, I see I get a surface and you know that's the domain over which we will solve the governing equations. And I can optionally rename this. So if I go to design one, right click and say rename, I can call that um, flat plate domain. So that's all there is to defining the domain for the boundary value problem. I will exit space claim. And then I will say file, save. And 
if you wait for a few moments and look at your cloud drive, you will see that it saved it in the WBPJ format. So I, I tend to save in the WBPJ format when I'm working, and at the end I save it in the WBPZ format uh, for easy transfer.